Hi, I'm Teresa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag which was created by Ariel Bissett and I will leave a link to her channel and her original video down below. So as it is somehow already nearly the end of the year, I cannot believe we are right at the end of November. It doesn't feel real. I thought this would be the absolute perfect time to do this. I'm not one for setting TBRs, so this is as close to a TBR as you're going to get. So I'm going to talk about some of the books I would like to read before the year ends, some of my 2021 plans, some releases I'm still looking forward to, things like that. And yeah, just thought this was a nice way to kind of kickstart the festive season. I do have a few videos planned coming up, but right now with uni, I am struggling. So it will, those videos will be coming probably after I finish uni, which is like mid-December. And for now, I'm going to try and keep this video quite short because honestly, I've just not got time to edit and caption it. Finals are difficult and it's worse because there's no exams. So there's just a million and one assessments. Anyway, enough complaining about uni. Time to start the video and start the tag. So this is quite a short tag. It's only got six prompts. Um, the first one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And honestly, other than my current reads, no, I'm not one to start a book, get part way through and put it down for a while, then pick it up. Like if I'm putting it down, it's quite permanent. It's just a DNF. But I thought I'd talk about my current reads anyway. So first up, we've got 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez and I, Rigoberta Minchu. And I am reading both of these from my Latin American Texts and Contexts course, where we study texts from Latin America. And they're kind of been mostly 20th century, I think there's a bit of 19th, and the context surrounding the creation of that text, the history, and I really love this course actually. It's like the perfect blend of literature and texts and like films and things, as well as history, two things I love, along with Latin America, which really interests me, the Spanish language I love. It's a, a perfect course. I am currently reading both of these for it, as I've said, I have been reading this since September. We've been reading like three chapters a week. You can see my weekly goals. And I am right now on chapter 19 out of 20. I'm very, very nearly done. Finally, <laughs> but I have really enjoyed this. I have been mostly listening to the audiobook just for ease, just because like it's quite a lot of reading and I've barely got time to read for myself or to do my work. So the audiobook has really actually helped me. I'll probably I'll probably talk more about what I think in my wrap up, but yeah, I am enjoying this. We've also got Aerogberto Minchu, which is a kind of biography of Rigoberta Minchu, who is a indigenous woman. She's a Kiche Mayan in Guatemala, and we're studying this right now. So I'm halfway through this unit looking at Guatemala in the latter half of the 20th century and the genocide of the indigenous peoples. And this book is very, very good as well. I'm reading the English translation of them both because Spanish seemed like too much effort, but, but I am very, very much enjoying it. It's very interesting to read. Yeah, I'm excited to read more and to finish it. And the books I'm currently reading just for fun right now, we have got Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, which I'll actually talk more about in a minute, and Chasing the Stars by Mallory Blackman. These books are both from my own TBR. I've been really trying to get that down and using the clear shit readathon, which I'll leave information about down below. It's very cool, check it out. It's a two month readathon and you can still do December if you've not started it yet. I've been re focusing on reading my own TBR for that and because that was one of my main goals for this year. And this is a book I've had for years. It's a sci-fi. I think it's very insta-love, but like owning that, owning that and that there's a reason for that. And I'm only at the very, very beginning. I don't know if you can see my bookmark. So I'm interested to see how it progresses. It's so quick to read though. I've spoken so much for that one. <laughs> and I said I was gonna be doing a short video. Oh well, um, the next prompt is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? For this one, my actual current read, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, I think is just perfect for this time of year. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I really associate Norse mythology with kind of the end of the year, end of autumn, early winter. It's how I picture so much of what I know of Norse mythology. So this has just been the perfect kind of thing 
to sit and read. I am only like 50 pages in. I am liking it and finding it very interesting. Uh, the stories, but also they're just told so well. I love how the narrative style works. And I'm very excited to read more. I am trying to read it quite slowly. I do just read like one story at a time, which is why I've got another book. So I'm kind of spreading this out over my early winter. The third prompt is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? And I've got a few written down here. Obviously we are so late in the year that there's not very many new books to still come out. But These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong just very recently came out and this is one I cannot wait to get my hands on. It sounds just incredible. I cannot wait. And there's also Curse of Roses by Diana Pinguicha. It's a Portuguese name and I'm not a Portuguese speaker so I'm very sorry if I've pronounced that atrociously. Um, this actually releases on the 1st of January 2021 in the UK but I'm including this here because the rest of the world or America, I don't know, get it a little bit earlier and this is one I cannot wait to read either. It is sapphic, it's historical fiction based around Portuguese myth and it just sounds so good. I genuinely cannot wait to read it. And then finally just one that actually releases between now and the end of the year and that is The Love Curse of Melody McIntyre by Robin Talley. This is also sapphic, it surround I don't actually know that much but I think it surrounds a musical production I think maybe in school and it's written by Robin Talley whose book Music from Another World I read and adored earlier this year and I've been wanting to read more from her so I think it's just perfect time to pick up more from her. The next prompt is what are three books you want to read before the end of the year and as I've said my main goal is reading from my own TBR and just trying to read as much as I can and I'm also trying to focus on the books that I acquired before this year. So I've picked out three of those that I would really like to read. Uh, first up we've got The Pearl Thief by Elizabeth Fien, Wine, something. Um, this is a murder mystery set in Scotland in 1938 and I just think this will be a really cool fun historical mystery. And this is one I've meant to pick up a few times this year, like I've looked out as what I'm going to read next and then changed my mind so I would just like to finally pick it up and read it. Next up is A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. I have been saying for so long that I need to finally read Victoria Schwab, that I need to finally read this book, I've had it for years, I need to do it. Someone just forced me to read it <laughs> but yeah I do plan on trying to read it before the end of the year. Hopefully I can. And finally is Royals by Rachel Hawkins. This one I want to do a reading vlog on. I've had this video idea since before I started my channel. It's one that really made me want to start a channel and I finally am going to do it. But I want to do a reading vlog of this book and honestly make fun of it a little bit. <laughs> and I feel really bad saying that but this is set in Scotland. And from what I can tell from a glance at the Goodreads reviews, that's not done very well. And it's this really strange Scotland, like very Americanized and seen through an American perspective and not very accurate. And I don't know, I want to make fun of it a little bit. Like, I think this will be a good stress relief when I'm done with my assessments. The next prompt is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? And honestly, not really, since as I've said, I'm focusing on reading my own TBR, some older books, and I just do not think that many of these have the ability to become a new favourite. Honestly, <laughs> however, I am hoping to read some queer festive books, probably during the 12 Days of Queerness readathon that my friend is hosting, which I'll leave information on linked below. It sounds like a lot of fun. So hopefully, I'm going to enjoy reading some of those even if I'm not anticipating any new favourites I'm hoping I'll still get a good fun time. And the final prompt is have you already started making reading plans for 2021? And the answer is always yes. I'm always making plans. <laughs> it's all I know how to do. I don't know how to actually enact the plans. I can just make them up. I've obviously not finalised anything yet and I don't have a numerical goal like I want to read x amount of books a year. However I would like to as I've been saying, clear out my own TBR and the books that I bought before this year. Reducing this number of books was my goal for this year and I want to just 
be done with the older ones that I know I'm not that interested in and I think it is very doable I am down to like 20 left so I think reading some more this year and then finishing them off next year should be easy peasy and I would also like to start reading for fun in French and Spanish. Right now I've not read any Spanish books and I've only read one book that's not been for class in French but I think my level in these languages are at the point where I could read, I want to read, and I think it would really just help especially since next year I will be moving abroad. Um, this is something I'll talk more about at the time, I'm not going to get into it now but my uni course as I study French and Spanish has a compulsory year abroad so in like August, September next year I will be moving either to France or Spain and then in the new year 2022, a scary thought, I'll be moving to the other one and I think having read some books in those languages for fun, doing some more studying, watching some more <laughs> shows and things in those languages, really get my ears attuned to language is kind of my goals before I go away and I think will really help me when I'm away and just with my studies in general but I do want to read them for fun, there's a few I've picked out that I really think I'm going to enjoy so that is my goal. So yes that is the end of the video as always, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment, and if you want to keep up with me elsewhere, I've got a social media link below. And yes, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in another video soon.